All right, welcome back to Photoshop. So today I'm gonna to show you a really easy way to create an action to add bokeh to any of your images inside of Photoshop. So this is a really easy action to create and I'm gonna show you two different ways to do that. One, so it automatically quickly applies an image and then one, so it will allow you to pick between a variety of images that you've loaded into a folder. Now, the first thing that we need to do to make sure that this works correctly is I'm going to navigate. So you'll notice right here, I have a folder called Bokeh Images and then inside that folder, I have two different images. Now, this is important. You need to load your images into a folder and you cannot move that folder because we are linking a file. If you change the path of the file, it's not gonna be able to find it. So if you like to move things around, put this in a place where you're not gonna be moving the files around. To do any action, it's really easy. We're just gonna come over here. I'm gonna slide my actions over onto the screen. We're gonna go out of button mode by clicking this little box right up here. And we're gonna click on button mode to get out of it. Then we're gonna come up here to the menu again and we're gonna go ahead and hit new action. And I'm just gonna call this bokeh. And I'm just gonna leave it my default actions. I'm not gonna give it a function key or a color. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. And now I'm just gonna slide this out of the way so we don't see it anymore. And we're gonna come up here and start recording. So we're gonna go to file, place linked. And then it's gonna ask us to select the image that we want. I want this top one for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit place and it's gonna automatically place that image on this file. I'm gonna go ahead and hit return or enter on my keyboard so I can apply that change. You can see right here, it's got that little link symbol showing that this is a linked file. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change my blending mode. I'm gonna add a soft light blending mode but you can use whatever blending mode you want and you can change this at any time, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. Now, if you do want to remove this from a certain area, I'm gonna go ahead and create a mask at this time. And now I'm gonna stop this action because we're actually done with the action but not done with what we're gonna do. I'll slide this back over, I'm gonna come over here and hit stop. And just to show you how this works, we're gonna go ahead and delete this up to this point. I'm gonna come back up to Bokeh, and I'm just gonna run play, and this is gonna apply that effect. You can see, bam, just like that, even with the mask, we're ready to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint that out of her face and her hair. So we're gonna come in here and just take that effect out. Now you'll notice that the image is getting a little bit flat and getting a little bit different color. Because this image up here, remember it has some color, it's very magenta, and we're blending with that file. So what we need to do is click on the background layer and just make a quick adjustment layer. We're gonna add a little contrast, and then we're gonna go down to green. And if you go up, you're adding green, but we actually want to add a little magenta to this file. We can come back and fix this. Now, we only want to apply this to our subject. So what I'm going to do is hold the Alt Option key and drag my mask down, select my mask, and then hit Command I to invert it. So now we're just applying that effect here. And if I needed to come in and do some further adjustments with the color or adjust this, I could definitely do it, but we're going to be fine with what we have. And that instantly, as you can see, is adding some bokeh to our image. Now we're gonna change this up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and once again, we're gonna just delete this back here and delete this here. And I'm gonna slide the actions back over. Right here in the action, the, here's the place command. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tick this little box. So what I'm gonna do is make sure the action is selected. I'm gonna come down here and play it. So I'm gonna hit play. And this time it's actually going to stop and it's gonna allow me to pick either one of these files right here. So I can pick this file and hit place. And then it's gonna place that file. I still need to hit return. It does not understand the return com command. And then it's gonna finish the action after that. So it added the mask and added the blending mode after that. 
by ticking that little box out there will allow you, if you have a series of different bokeh images that you like to use, to pick the actual one that fits this image. So that's how you create this cool little action inside of Adobe Photoshop. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.